Hello and welcome to Projects in Java. Today we're going to start on our text editor project, but rather than just creating a simple text editor, we're going to create users and we're going to encrypt those users' passwords. Uh, we are going to be using a form of hash encryption. So this processes the user input and turns it into a hash so that it's very hard to reverse engineer that hash password. So let's take a look at hashing passwords. We'll just wiki this real quick. So we're going to be using SHA-256 to encrypt our passwords. It was developed by the NSA, and it helps users keep their passwords safe. So whenever you're transmitting information, if it is intercepted, you can't decrypt that password and figure out what the original text was. So let's take a look at our complete project. We have a username and password. And so a user can log in with their username and password and access their text files that they want to edit. What we're going to do is register a new user. We'll put in a password and confirm that password. We'll hit register and then we can log in with that user. And we can create a new file. Add some text. And we can save it, save and close. We'll close this and relaunch it. Log in with that same user. And now we can load that file. And we can add to it and then save and close again. Now we want to take a look at the password file. Of course, you wouldn't store your passwords normally in a file. We're just doing this for this project. So we open that up and we can see the hash of the password. So it has a username with that hash. And so I used a very simple password and it output this hash. So now let's go to Eclipse and start creating our project. The first class we're going to add is going to be called login. And this is going to process our login information. We're going to extend JPanel and implement action listener. And we'll create a default constructor. Now we want to create our labels and our fields. So two labels and two fields. And we'll have the same thing for the password. And we'll have a password field instead of a regular text field. And to make sure this looks right, we'll add a couple more panels. And 
And this first panel is going to have a grid layout. And so you can put that into the constructor. We're going to make this a 3 by 2 grid layout. And another panel to hold that. One other layout that we're going to be using is a card layout. And this works differently than the rest of the layouts we've been using. It actually swaps out panels. So if you add a panel, you can swap it out. And we'll see how to do that right now in a little bit. And so now let's add everything to the login panel. So we're going to add the labels and the fields. And make sure we add them in the correct order so that they look right. And let's also create two buttons. One is going to be for the login. And the other one is going to be for register. Okay, and now that we have those buttons, let's add an action listener. And that's going to be this. So add action listener, this, and the same thing for the register button. And then we'll add these buttons to the login panel. And then we'll add our login panel to the other panel. And finally add that panel to this. Now we're adding a panel to a card layout. We can add a key. And so we'll call this login. You just add an extra parameter to the add method. Now let's create our card layout. Now we'll just call this CL. And here at the bottom, CL is going to be equal to. And we'll cast card layout. get layout. Okay, and now let's create a main method to see how this looks. And in here we'll create a J frame to put our panel in. And then we'll set the default close operation. To make sure that we exit, we'll set the size. 
we'll do 500 by 500. And then we need to create a new login panel. And add that panel to the frame. And set this to visible. So visible equals true. Now let's test this. So run as Java application. And here we have a simple form to log in. In our next videos, we'll create the action listeners for the buttons and the register class.